Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Anadu Dankwe Kufuado, my dear brother. Excellency, Mr. John Najim Kufu, the second President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Kunedu Ajima Rollins, my dear sister and beloved. 100 years ago, on these very lands where we are gathered tonight, a noble king met a fate too painful to relate. My granduncle, Ajimai Prempa I, the 12th occupant of the Golden Stool, had opted to sacrifice his personal honor rather than risk the lives of countless thousands in another war with the British colonial power. Asante had fought four wars to resist colonial conquest and maintained his African independence and, identi and identity but the tide of history had turned irredeemably against Africa, and the cost in human terms was too great to bear. He offered the olive branch of peace and expectation of harmonious relations. Instead, he was taken away into exile in excruciatingly painful circumstances that were to change the course of history for the whole nation. Nearly three decades later, my granduncle was allowed to return to Kumasi, his dignity intact, shaking but unbowed, and his people received him back with overwhelming joy and boundless loyalty. The dual expectation of the colonial power was that the prolonged absence of the king would lead to a complete break in the bonds of loyalty between him and his people and cause the Asante kingdom to be dismembered. Instead, what they saw was a surge of unbroken loyalty and an unyielding determination to, to preserve their Asante destiny. The ceaseless agitation for the return of the king found broad support among the various entities with whom Asante had integrated in the new state of the Gold Coast, now Ghana. The agitation found favor too with the Christian church following the baptism of my granduncle into the Anglican faith in the Seychelles. So British realism kicked in after 27 long years when the king was allowed to return to his people, and even so under trying circumstances. We have gathered here tonight to break bread and share some refreshing waters as we herald the centenary of that glorious day of Asante resurrection and transformation. It was the day that reaffirmed the undying spirit and, and resilience of the Asante people, proving once again that through all the climes and circumstances, and through all the pain and anguish of history, Asante Kotoko would prevail. Indeed, the glorious return did more than assert the spirit of Asante. It set us on a new path, the path of re reconciliation, entrenching the values of peace and peaceful collaboration that have helped shape the destiny of our new nation state of Ghana. We draw inspiration from our heritage, but are proud of that heritage within a melting spot of diverse cultures, reflecting a tapestry of shapes and sounds and colors, blending in uplifting harmony. Nothing could be more appropriate than for us to welcome our midst, in, in our midst, the President of the Republic of Seychelles. His Excellency Wava Ram, Ramka Lavan as our guest of honor for this commemorative event. For 27 long years, the island of Seychelles provided sanctuary to our exiled king. I'm sure, Mr. President, you would have wished they hosted him under different circumstances. But like us, they were also the victims of the colonial experience but even within the complex realities of the time, the soil and the people of the island gave as much as they could to minimize the impact of the exercise. Tonight, as we commemorate the glorious day of resurrection, I say to President Wava Ram Kalavan and his beautiful wife, and to the people of the enchanting island of the Seychelles, Asantimai Damwase. Sikaja. 
To you, Mr. President, Asante says thank you for, faith, for faithfulness, compassion, and allowing the spirit of African solidarity to triumph over adversity. The, the golden stool, which you want to see, that you can't see before you leave, <laughs> showers its blessings upon you in deep appreciation for your grace for upholding a shared destiny. We celebrate that shared destiny in the growing community of social Asantes who are the descendants of King Prempe and all his team in exile. It is inspiring to remember that even in adversity, our people did not forget their traditional obligation to keep the Asante blood flowing. They fulfilled their patrimonial obligation and bequeathed to us a happy rising community, now part of the Asante diaspora. We welcome those who have been able to join us for this commemoration and salute all our kith and kin abroad. Let them and our young men and women everywhere understand that the task is not over. The duty calls once again to go forth and multiply for the solidarity of Seychelles and Ghana within the wider African family. I don't thank you. We are also truly thrilled to have with us tonight the Prime Minister of, us, of my esteemed brother, Kingdom of Eswatini. My brother, Kim Maswati, sent him here to represent him with uh, the Right Honorable Russell Mumiso Dlamani. It is necessary to stress the significance of the honor done us by your presence. The Kingdom of Eswatini, once known as Swaziland, or the Switzerland of Africa, is the only constitutional monarchy in sub-Saharan Africa. Kim, Swa Kim Swati has sent his prime minister, the head of government, the two of his princes, both ministers in the government, to represent him at the commemoration of the return of Kim Prempe from Ezzah. They have come to honor the reality of African history, the brotherhood of African kingdoms, and their common exploits from colonial adversity for the free states we are today. We do not invent history. We are made of history. And like all the great empires and kingdoms of Africa's glorious past, Eswatini knows the shape of the brotherhood. We recall that the United Nations proclaimed the 1960s the decade of African liberation, marking the happy emergence of the entire continent from the troubled epoch of colonial subjugation. Seven decades after, no one can vaguely suggest that Africa is anywhere near the fulfillment of the aspirations of our liberation struggle. We are still laboring under political structure distrustful of our traditions and cultures and, and unable to achieve the right future for stability and sustainable development. In this troubled environment, Eswatini commands the highest respect of every true African for their resolute confidence in their own culture. As Antimai says to our brother, King Swatini, congratulations for continued fortitude and great endeavor. Thank you for the brotherhood. The significance of this commemoration is manifold. It serves to remind us that we are where we are today, not by sudden flight or fluke of fortune, we are here enjoying our freedom because our forefathers paid a heavy price We are here enjoying our freedom because our forefathers paid a heavy price to secure our space on the planet. I speak not of our sentiment alone. From every corner of Ghana, Heroes and martyrs shed their blood, suffered torture, imprisonment, and exile in the cause of freedom. We owe a duty to honor their memory, but more than that, we carry the moral imperative to protect and defend the heritage 
they have bequeathed to us. And we too must be ready to make our share of the sacrifices necessary to enable us build upon that heritage. My granduncle returned from Seychelles as a converted Christian and under, the, under his influence, the Church of Christ gained a foothold in Asante. But the greatest legacy that King Prempe the first handed us can be summed up in two words, reconciliation and peace. After all, the trauma and indignities he endured, he stepped off the train at a doom to proclaim to his people, let everyone cast aside the pains and agonies of the past and begin a process of reconciliation so we can all live together in peace. There are no enemies in our lives, but partners in a joint endeavor to carve a good life for ourselves. The path of reconciliation led to the genuine integration of Asante into the new state of the Gold Coast and to the national cohesion which was to follow. By the fate of history, it is the legacy which makes this commemoration so critical, critical for our nation, and not only for our nation, but for Africa, and not only for Africa, but the entire world. I thank you very much for coming, attending this occasion, and we love you all, and uh, we hope that in the years to come, we still so celebrate, not from Seychelles, but here in Kumasi. So you didn't come to celebrate 100 years of my grand uncle returning, but you celebrate from here, President Kufuado attaining the age of 100. The wise words of our king, Otufuo Osetu to the second king of all Asante, home and abroad. Please put your hands together in celebration.